here in the E Panama. And I'll show you some firefighting. Seven miles of 260 from where I'm parked, right? And remember, in the E Panama right now, I do not have the spray system installed. So let's do that first before we start our engines. If you try to do this after you start the engines in this aircraft, it won't work. So you go into the E Panama you know, menu, you click on show hide spray equipment. Boom, there it is. Now it'll work. Now, first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that my compass here is aligned to that. And so we're at like uh, 135. So I'll make sure I'm at 135. Ish. Uh, good enough. And then what I want to do is I want to hit this 260. I want to hit this 260 heading from where I'm parked right now. So, and I need to go for seven miles, which at 120 miles an hour is three and a half minutes. Now, I don't have a timer in this aircraft, but what you can do is you can always go to your job report while you're flying. And down here, there's a timer, right? 10.04. So where you cross the threshold, which is right here, where you cross this area as you fly back after getting your water, um, you can switch to the job uh, report and keep track of how far you've flown by looking at how you know much time has passed while you're flying at a, at a rate that you know uh, an easy calculation, like 60. If you're in a helicopter, it's easy to go 60. Or 120 is two miles a minute. So. I'm going to go out and I'm going to uh, start this thing up, fly out, get some water, we'll show you that, and then we'll show you uh, putting out the fires and getting there. So let's get after it. So you want to have assigned another button other than your spray button to uh, initiate water fill. So when you go into your button assignments, there's one that says initiate water fill. You want to make sure you have a button assigned to that. And on the EMB 200 E Panama, there's a separate spray button. You want to use the one that's made for this aircraft, not the generic one. The generic one is only made for aircraft that don't have a native spray equipment but if you have an aircraft that has a spray equipment modeled then chances are it's got its own spray button and air spray works with its button not the generic one so what we're gonna come what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna make a pass almost like we're doing a crop dusting down a long field we're going to do this lengthwise down the body of water so we can do it in the minimum amount of passes, right? So this is a long body of water that kind of goes that way. So we will come in here, not be too fast. And there's a fill button right here. That's a gray button right now. It turns blue when it's over water and you are low enough, right? So when it's over water and you're less than about 30 feet off the surface of the water, then that snorkel hose with a pump on it will drag around the surface of the water and you can suck the water in. You don't want to be too fast here. You'll eat up too much real estate on this water and you won't get enough water in. It'll take too many passes. Now that's not bad. It just takes more time. But I'm waiting for this button to turn blue. It's turning blue. I hit the fill button. I just got to hit it once and it'll start filling. I'll watch my speed not to go too fast. Make sure I don't crash the aircraft. And then when I go over water, I'm sorry, when I go over land, it's going to stop filling. Or if I go too high, it's going to stop filling. When you get back over the water, you got to re-hit the fill button. So right here, I'm going to go over a patch of land. It's going to stop filling because I'm not over water anymore. And then I'll get over water on the other side. I have to re-hit that fill button. So it turns blue. It's not filling because I haven't hit the button. So I'm going to hit the button. Now it's filling. Blue just means you can fill. You actually have to hit the button though to fill. When I get over this land, it's gonna stop filling like it is. And I'm gonna make sure 
right here. I don't try to get too aerobatic because I came in with low speed, right? I climbed out of there with low speed. Now we'll head back towards the airport and we are going to uh, cross over where we were parked while flying 260 and that'll put us right on the heading right the direction we need to go to get to the fires. And it's seven miles away it's going to take three and a half minutes to get to the fires going 120 which is my goal. We'll be able to see the fires from about five miles out. You'll see the smoke. our situation here it's right by a road it looks like right over a road it's a good thing we're spraying this this must be like a vehicle fire that started this maybe a crash yep right at 10 15 we'll cross over yep definitely like a vehicle crash all right looking for obstacles I see some some light poles so let's switch back to air spray mode here Let's go put these babies out. Watch your speed on the turns. You always want to keep 90 or so miles an hour of air flowing over these wings to keep yourself away from stalling. Right? I'm just going to get down, hit the sprayer, go right down the center. Kind of split this thing in two. Work that way. Spray on. Yeah. We hit uh, $225 there, income from spraying fires, which means we knocked out several flames. Watch your speed on the turn, 90 mile an hour at least on this aircraft. Keep yourself safe. You know, there's no reason to kill yourself putting out these fires. And you got some spectators here on this road. Hit right here, go right over these flames here, spray on and off. 325 on the income from fire, fighting fires. That's how you know you're spraying these fires. You can't actually see them disappear because you're flying right over them. But I know I'm putting them out because I know I'm making money, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in on the other side of this road so I'm not running the risk of spraying these vehicles. I'm going to come down the road kind of parallel, give the vehicles a show. Try not to come in too fast, give yourself plenty of time to line up where you need to line up. Right about here, and spray on, knock those guys out. stall. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. You gotta keep the airflow over the wings. Alright, we'll get these right here. Spray on. Spray off. 